A father and son team from the Nebraska National Guard have joined the humanitarian efforts here in El Salvador to support Beyond the Horizon, a joint foreign military interaction and humanitarian exercise taking place here until late June. Sergeant First Class Mitchell Patzel says there was no pressure from him for his son, Private Mitchell Patzel Jr., to enlist. I, I, I left him to follow in my footsteps if he wanted to. Uh, I had a, had a feeling he would. Uh, I was able to take a Humvee up to his preschool because he was really excited about it and I've got pictures of him sitting behind the wheel of the Humvee when he was five years old and uh, he's just been interested in it the whole time. I've never said he had to. If he didn't want to do it, that's up to him. My grandpa was in the Army and his his brother, one of his brothers was in the Air Force and the other ones went into the Marines, right? The other one was in the Marines, yes. And the other one was in the Marines, so there's a family history of the military, so I just, I also wanted to keep the tradition going. Aside from family tradition, a little parental motivation and even friendly competitiveness may be driving things along. I look at what he's done in, in the past and now he's you know in charge and I try to accomplish what he sets out for a goal. I'd like to beat him in rank just to say I did but that, that's a few years down the road so. And he does bring that up quite a bit about oh well you, you made it to sergeant first class I'm going to be a master sergeant so. <laughs> but no amount of competition is taking away from this father's pride for his son for volunteering to participate in this humanitarian exercise here in El Salvador. Uh, I don't think I could be any more proud than to have him follow in my footsteps and, and uh, take, the, take the reins. And I've always tried to teach him that uh, when somebody's getting uh, pushed around or something, you're there to stop it. You're not the one that's causing that. And uh, for him to join in the, in the National Guard and being able to help people that are in need of, of help, it, uh, yeah, I'd say it's, it's about as proud as I can be. I, I wish he could stay in longer, but I mean, when they say, you know, you're getting kind of old. You there you go out. with that old thing again. <laughs> <laughs> For Joint Task Force Jaguar Public Affairs, I'm Sergeant Rick Frost.